Hello again and welcome back to 007 Gold. I um, hope you enjoyed the other videos. So we shall carry on now with some more uh, ideas about collecting bond stuff. Um, well, I'm going to say on a budget really, I suppose it is on a budget because um, I'm kind of doing it for... Uh, well, you can get things that aren't ridiculously expensive but um, enjoy the world of bond. And um, mobile phones we're going to start with. A couple of mobile phones. now. Quantum of Solace 2008. Um, it was a C902 Cybershot from Sony Ericsson that uh, Daniel Craig used, like this. This is one here. Here we are. And you can see there the back. Uh, there we go. It's, uh, it's a very nice phone, except it isn't. Because believe it or not, for all uh, the detail that this has and all the buttons push, it doesn't go on because it's not actually a phone. It's a dummy. Um, I don't know why these are made, unless they're the ones that are supplied just on display in shops. But it's strange that you can buy them in bulk. There's so many of them made. Um, I mean, this one was £3.50 with um, free delivery. So incredibly cheap. And I mean, it you wouldn't tell the difference. You really would believe that it was a C902 Cybershot from Sony Ericsson amazing but it displays lovely you know i mean why pay a lot of money i could have got a second hand one that was scratched up for about 12 pounds um that worked but if i'm never going to use it it's going to go in a display cabinet with a with a battery that's going to possibly leak then why bother just get one of these if you're going to display it with um quantum solid stuff or or the daniel craig part of your bond collection if you have such a thing um, another one, um, the Sony Xperia Z5. Now this time, uh, it is a brand new phone. You can see I'm unboxing here. There's the Sony Xperia Z5. Looks like this. Still with its stick out of the right way up. Still with its plastic covering on, which I'm going to wear unwrap now for the first time. So, there it is in all its glory. Brand new uh, screen you can see and the back there there we are rather nice except once again it's not um <laughs> it really does look like one it's amazing that the, the, the detail you know you can see the shine on the screen and stuff but again this one very heavy very well made it has a totally believable lens and led on the back there you can see um four pounds with free delivery um and it's just a dummy but it's exactly the same as the X5 that um, was used in Spectre. Exactly the same model. Slightly different colour. Slightly different colour. There's a greenish tint on the back. But uh, I don't mind because it's, I'm actually displaying it from uh, with the front screen showing. So, um, ideal and £4. I mean, you know, it's it really incredibly cheap and a good bond prop. So there we go. Um, what we're going to move on to next is some rings that I've actually made. Uh, Spectre rings, which are kind of, um, they look like different ones through the ages. So I shall be back in a moment with those. Cheers. All right. Hello again. Um, right. Rings, basically. Spectre rings. Always a bit of fun uh, to the collector of Bond stuff. Uh, so we've got three rings here. Now, the first one um, is a bought product. It's not, um, it doesn't have any maker's name or mark or anything like that. It's basically from the uh, from the foreign market um, type of thing. It's made in Hong Kong, Taiwan, that kind of thing. Um, and I bought on the uh, website called Wish, which I didn't expect much from because they've got a bit of a, uh, a, a re reputation for you don't know what you're buying. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so good. However, this one was good. Uh, reminiscent, not exactly the same, but reminiscent of the ring worn uh, by Skiara at the start of Spectre and I'll show you it if I move it up to the camera there we are you can see there it has the uh, octopus Spectre sign and uh, quite nicely shaped as well it does um, basically uh, reduce in size down to where the, the inside of your finger goes so uh, you can see there a little bit better um, so yeah nice at uh, five pounds English money it did take 28 days to be received so if you're in a hurry, although why you'd be in a hurry for a Spectre ring, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe you're going to go and hollow out a volcano or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, <laughs> 28 days delivery, but 
quite good for five pounds. So I started looking more at the style of ring that you see in Thunderball, um, where you see Emilio Largo's, uh, the ring on uh, Emilio Largo's finger um, during the casino scene. And um, the only one I could see was actually 210 pounds. And I thought, no, there's got to be a way around that. Uh, there must be. So what I made was this, made it myself. There we are, you can see. It's uh, stainless steel and enamel. And there's the actual ring there. What I did is I bought an existing adjustable ring. It was actually an Avengers ring, uh, which is adjustable because you basically just open it out. If you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but it's double layered ring. Uh, a bit like a key ring, but you can prise it apart to open it out uh, to fit uh, any size. So I bought that and what I did was I took the actual circular Avenger sign off the top and I bought a Spectre pin badge, which I really, <laughs> sorry about the dog in the background, he's a bit bored today. Um, I took the um, a pin badge that I bought of Spectre, um, you know, the type with just a normal short pin that goes through your lapel and a little that goes on snap the pin off and use gorilla glue and that's the end result the two went together so when i put it on there we are display it there it looks rather good um the complete cost the the pin badge was about between four and five pounds and the other ring was three and they were both free delivery so for seven pounds uh it's quite an enjoyable thing i think to be honest it's a bit of fun and then I thought, well, how far can I take this? And I had a look and there was a slightly different Spectre pin badge. Um, even more like the, like the old movies, to be honest with you. Um, because it's not round, the shape actually follows the shape of the octopus. And I looked at other rings that were affordable as well. What I came up with then was this. There we are. Now this is basically a signet ring, stainless steel. You'll have seen them before. Um, where it has a black center which is just actually it's, it's not even enamel it's just black plastic and again a different pin badge which is available on eBay both were from eBay um, and if I get in as close as I can there without knocking the mic you can see that it's actually shaped like the octopus but again stainless steel and enamel and the ring is much more chunky it's um, it's, it's a solid thing made of stainless steel but what I did with this one was because it's thicker at the top, you can see there, um, it actually allowed me to just trim the pin down a bit uh, and then bore with this tiny drill into the plastic on the top of the ring, on the top of the signet ring, and some of the pin sits in the hole, and again, Gorilla Glue, and Bob's your uncle, basically. Um, just held it together for about two minutes, left it overnight, it's absolutely solid. You'd think it had been welded on. Um, and it looks great uh, there it is where I'm wearing it there you are um, so I mean again this one I think altogether would have been I think the signet ring was three pounds the um, the actual pin badge the Spectre pin badge was five pounds free delivery on both you've got a ring there decent ring for eight pounds you know with just a little bit of work and if you can drill a tiny hole snip a pin and buy some Gorilla Glue or you have some Gorilla Glue it's not difficult to make you know there's nothing involved in the making of this uh so there we are um hope you enjoyed those it's a bit of fun um and exactly the type of thing i enjoy doing uh, making a james bond collection up for a very small amount of money because i have a very small amount of money um okay i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, i hope you can understand me okay i know i know i have a broad northern accent from the northeast of england um but hopefully you can pick out what I'm saying and you enjoy it. So thanks very much for watching. I'll be back with another video again soon. Cheers again. Thanks.